Dr. Suha Rassam, she's chairman of the Iraqi Christians in Need. Dr. Rassam, so very sad news, of course. This was a very high profile, very popular, respected archbishop. I mean, do we have any idea how he might have died? I mean, he was known to be an ill man. Yes, he had a cardiac uh, illness and he was on medicines. That's all we know. Uh, he was kidnapped uh, two weeks ago, as you said, and we haven't heard until today that he was dead. And Pope Benedict had actually given out an appeal for his release, hadn't he? Oh, yes, yes. And, and tell us a little bit about the Chaldean Christians in Iraq, because it's one of the oldest Christian communities in the Middle East. Yes, the Christian community of Iraq harked to the first Christian century, and the Church of Iraq was a glorious church with uh, intense missionary activities. They reached China, India, Central Asia, the, S the Arabian Peninsula, and they had big uh, uh, community that was very active and alive. And Archbishop Rahu, um, when he was alive, tried very hard to make sure there was conciliation between the oh, various yes, communities in yeah. Iraq. But sadly, many of the Christians in Iraq did feel rather vulnerable, many fle fleeing their homes. Oh, that's because uh, the Christian community has been uh, attacked uh, for, uh, for some time. I mean, it started soon after the invasion. The first uh, threatening letter uh, to a religious leader came as early as June 2003. And since then, 43 churches have been damaged, 15 priests have been abducted, five killed, many tortured. Uh, hundreds of uh, civilians, ordinary people have been kidnapped, extorted of money. Uh, a whole area in Baghdad had been evicted. People were evicted from their homes at gunpoint, convert to Islam and or leave their homes. And the archbishop had spoken up very vocally and about all this. Yeah. So it would be a hard act to follow yeah. when you find a successor. And success. people have, have left because they feel threatened. Uh, they feel they will be the next victims. And then the situation is becoming harder and harder for all uh, uh, the minority communities. Our condolences to the Chaldean Christian community. Dr. Suhara Sam, thank, thank you very you. much indeed for talking to us. Now, do stay with BBC World. Still to come in this programme,